Welcome everyone to Tattered Angels Rocks. We took some fun rocks that we found out in the backyards or around in the area in the gardens and so forth and painted them up using Tattered Angels paints. First, we're starting off with Erin Reed. She created three cute little rocks using the trolls theme. She then had her kids go outside and hide them in various places, up in trees and bushes and stuff, all near a playground so it would be very easy. Don't forget to put on the backside, Tattered Angels Rocks. She even put on there, keep or rehide. That way you could either keep the rock or you could rehide it for somebody else. For all of her paint, she used the decor and DIY paint and it held up beautifully against all the weather and elements were that while they were sitting outside. Jean Marmo is up next where she used a rock that she found and used some Tattered Angels mist and then a Sharpie to outline to make a beautiful flower shape. She then hid it in a little garden for somebody to find. Next we have Marie and her son where they took various types of high impact paints and glimmer mists and painted some cute little rocks with her son and then hid them for people to find. Don't forget the hashtag. Next we have Christine Santos. First she gave the rock a good coat of navy and rose gold high impact paint and then she added a damask of ivory tissue over top of the rock and then she used a wax cotton cord and tied the bow for a cute little touch. For some extra color and shimmer she added some dragonfly coral reef pearl and indomitable snowman glimmer mists all over the rock. Janie Drake is up next and she took a couple of different rocks and she had some inspiration from a couple of quotes with a bit of freehand painting. She started off, she did a couple of coats of high impact black paint on both rocks. She then penciled in her design before painting the rock. For the smaller rock she used a white paint pen to draw the tree and the word to get finer detail. For the larger rock she used high impact paint in white and yellow and to give the beautiful flower and smile effect. Next we have Linda, and she took a whole bunch of cute little rocks ready and perfect for a bunch of smaller age kids that could play with them when they got home, so she turned them all into cute little faces. All the rocks have a base coat of the DIY paint, and then she added on, on top of that, some high impact paint, some glimmer glam, and some glimmer mists. Add a couple of googly eyes and a little smiley face, and they are perfect little stones to hide around for all the cute little kids to find around a playground. Lastly, we have Beth Bird. She took a few rocks and sprayed them with Valentine Pink and Vanilla Breeze Glimmer Mists. And then she added on a few cute little trims and some fun sparkly snowflakes for these beautiful little rocks. If you would like to play along, please do so. The link is at the bottom for us to see the blog post all about these fun things. We even have an in links where you can add up your own project. Make sure if you do make some rocks, put them in some fun places. This is an art abandonment project specifically for rocks. So please put the tag Tattered Angels Rocks and we will come find you. Thanks so much.